hell yeah people welcome to the podcast stop crying poser greatest podcast known to man as voted by fish sharks whales dolphins jellyfish seahorses turtles octopuses shout out to everyone who chose to tune in live right here on twitch.tv slash ninja lifestyle the time is 3 36 meaning we're only uh what six minutes late we got Paul Miranda, Mr. Defo, Meatball Head, Cool Ranch Dorito, Mr. Jesus, Stink Neck, Chillin' Pete, Lou Gherkins, Mr. Jesus, Dingo Donger Dude, Day Day, and maybe a few other people. I appreciate you guys tuning in live. It's not required. You can always watch this later on YouTube. Before we do anything, to congratulate, to reward the people who showed up early, or I should say on time, we're going to be giving away free Ninja Lifestyle sticker packs to the first person who answers this question correctly. How many hearts do octopuses have? How many hearts do octopuses have? They could have eight hearts maybe because they're octagonal. Maybe they have one heart. Maybe they have two hearts, three. How many hearts does the Grinch have? Because it grew a lot that one time. Cool Ranch says eight. Lou Gherkins says eight. Mr. Defo says three. And Day Day says three. Mr. Defo was the first one on my screen to get that correct. So send me a DM after the podcast with your address, and I will send you some Ninja Lifestyle stickers. Again, the only podcast in the world that gives away free stickers every single time. Why? Some people care about their viewers. All right, Joe Rogan, he doesn't give a fuck about you. I do. That's why everyone should watch my podcast. You guys should tell a friend. We've been doing this shit for like five years now. And I feel like we're right back where we started. Just same exact amount of viewers as episode one. Doesn't matter, whatever. This has been a, a little bit of an eventful week. I uh, got out of my comfort zone, went to a grocery store that I've never gone to. It's called Smart and Final. I usually go to Walmart Grocery. I decided to switch it up. Because I'm trying to, for my whole life, I, I discussed this a few weeks ago. I never had real mayonnaise. I was always having Miracle Whip on my sandwiches, which led to me hating mayonnaise because I thought that was the same thing as mayonnaise. Later in life, I have discovered that mayonnaise is, is a whole different thing entirely. So I went on Reddit. I typed in, what is the best mayonnaise in the world? One pops up. It says Dukes. Okay, cool. I go to Walmart. They don't carry Dukes. Fine, whatever. I go to another grocery store. They don't carry Dukes. Okay, fine. Today I go to Smart and Final, a grocery store I've never been to. They had an, an outstanding produce section, all types of green leafy vegetables I've never heard of. Walmart has like three vegetables. And then they, they look like half of them are brown and falling apart. Half of them are slimy. So I go to a real, a real life grocery store. It was great. Everyone in there was polite too. Walmart, every time I go into Walmart, there's like, I have this little bit of anxiety because everyone looks like they want to fight each other. And it's very, it's very common for there to be some sort of big argument right, right in front where like the, the checkout stands are. In fact, if I go to Super Walmart, I, I feel like the Super Walmart by me is kind of not in the best neighborhood, not in a bad neighborhood, but for whatever reason, there's always almost a fight every time I'm in there. I can hear people yelling, screaming, people fucking arguing, every time at that Walmart. I go to Smart and Final, oh no, I felt like I was in Whole Foods. I go in there, they say, uh, I keep hearing like a bell going off. Like, what's this bell going off? Bing, bing, you know, like, oh, like maybe, maybe, maybe someone's taking a number. Maybe they're getting steak or something, I don't know. Bing, who's next, next in line, please. So anyways, I get over there to cash out uh, couldn't find couldn't find my mayonnaise, right? But I got some other stuff. I got a bunch of little stuff, some chicken, frozen chicken. Got some uh, some squash. I've never made squash before. I might make some squash right after this uh, podcast. Anyway, let's get to the point here. I go over there. I'm checking out. The uh, guy's like, you want to donate to cancer? And I'm like, no, not today. And he's like, okay, like, whatever. And I'm like, okay, like, kind of rude, but whatever. Get my bags, he starts the next person. The next person, he goes, would you like to donate a cancer? And they go, yeah, sure, I'll donate 50 cents. And he goes, whoa! Bing, 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 bing! And starts ringing this bell. Now, like, I know that, I know they weren't 
purposely trying to make me look dumb. But this guy, but first off, I felt lame because that this guy just he had a whole fucking celebration because he donated fifty cents, and then it doubled because there was another checkout line open like thirty feet away, and then that guy goes, "Whoa!" Bing, 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 bing. And suddenly there's two Ric Flair's fucking working at Smart and Final Grocery Store. And I'm just like, well, what, do I look broke now? Everyone's fucking hyped, fucking screaming. It's like a, it's a, it's a the disco lights start going, black lights come on, everyone starts going, mm, 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 curing cancer, mm, mm, curing cancer. That guy didn't help cure cancer. Get the fuck out of the store, you bitch. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm like, dude, Jesus fucking Christ, man. How could they be any more condescending? Like, uh, a thank you would be fine. A thank you or whatever. It's, it was the ultimate, like, fuck you. And it made me remember there was a, uh, I think there was an episode of South Park where they kind of did something like that. I think it was Whole Foods in question. They were like, you want to donate? And he's like, no, I donated last time. And then the guy keeps fucking with him. And then at one point he's like, pull the food out of the hungry child's mouth. That's... That's the vibe I got from this thing. Although I did, I did get like, there was some brotherhood there from the employees, right? You go to Walmart, no one knows each other. No one likes each other. You get people saying, I'm going on break. You just went on break. I don't give a fuck. I hate this job. I'm going on fucking break. And I'm sitting there like, uh, I need someone to scan my ID because I'm buying alcohol. I'm on break. Okay. So I just want to get out of the store. I'm on break. Okay, fine. I remember I was at Walmart, and I remember this lady said, you think I give a fuck about this job? And she didn't say that to me, but they said that to another employee. Like, you think I give a fuck about this job? And I'm like, wow, like, no, no, I I don't. I definitely don't think you give a fuck about this job. I, I can tell by your tone that you don't give a fuck about this job. And uh, you didn't even ask me if I wanted to donate to ch cancer. Didn't even ask me that. She says, she says, fuck cancer. Think I give a fuck about cancer? You think I give... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I, I fabricated half of that story. But anyways, I thought it was interesting to like, go to the grocery store and because someone fucking donates 50 cents for cancer, everyone turns into Ric Flair all of a sudden. Woo! Ringing bells and shit. So, that was cool. Uh, I was watching a streamer the other day by the name of Guy Jizz, and he was playing basketball. He was playing basketball. The basketball hoop had no net, so of course... For me, a basketball hoop with no net is not a basketball hoop at all. Anyways, I'm looking at the ball, and I had this weird flashback to when I was a kid. And I remember some people, like I have a basketball always in my car, just because I have a bunch of weird shit in my car. I have a scooter, a pogo stick, a basketball, an extra skateboard, a bunch of tools. Not like skate tools. I have tools for everything, just in my hoarder's trunk. Anyways, I had this memory of of basketballs, please someone in the chat room back me up. Basketballs used to be hairy. Am I the only one that remembers hairy basketballs? What what were those? Why were they different and where did they go? They used to have basketballs that had like fur on the outside of them and they were they would bounce the same, they would jump the same, not bumpy. I'm talking about fur. Like you could you could run your finger down it and it'd be like a It'd be like a, a, a short-haired dog. And now that I think about it, those are probably gone because they get dirty so quickly, right? If you're playing in the street, they probably just turn dirty. If you guys have ever played basketball in the street and then you look at your hands afterwards, your hands are all black from uh, from dribbling. Unless, I don't know how many non-Americans are here. I, I know, <laughs> I, I feel like basketball is a worldwide thing, but maybe it's not. Maybe, just pretend I'm talking about soccer. Although I've never seen a hairy soccer ball. But... I was curious if anyone would, uh, if anyone had the name for those hairy basketballs. Well, I guess no one in the chat room right now has ever seen a fucking hairy basketball. So, uh, nice podcast topic, you fucking idiot. Someone, someone eventually is going to know. Someone eventually is going to know. Remember Airbud? They didn't have hairy basketballs. Well, the dog hair probably got on the basketball. I love how when I was a kid, no one ever questioned it. No one, wa no one looked at Air Bud and was like, this is the dumbest shit ever. I also liked it. If you guys remember this, some guy, I, I, I love that in movies, every ref has a rule book in their back pocket, pulls out the rule book, goes, flips through it and goes, there's no rule that says a dog can't play basketball. 
no one no one raised their hand and was like uh there doesn't need to be a rule there shouldn't be a fucking dog playing basketball also is this a high school team is there a dog going to high school is he like for for me to, in school if i'm getting i think if my gpa goes below like i don't remember what it was i think if your gpa goes below like two you're not allowed to play sports i don't know if that applies to like all schools but i remember in my school it was something like that or maybe if it goes below one if yeah if you're failing like three classes you're not allowed to play sports can you guys confirm if that happens elsewhere well first off i guarantee that dog can't spell the dog can't do math the dog first off being a logical person, I know the dog can't fucking play basketball. Anyways, I also, <laughs> I also love that. those movies. It always comes down to like the final shot, and of course, some dog just headbutts some dog headbutts the fucking the ball into the net. Imagine if they did that with like a kid in a wheelchair, and he was just headbutting the ball, and like <laughs> didn't even go to that school. Like, there's no rule that says a uh, fucking impaired, disabled kid can't play basketball yeah but they're but they're gonna you're gonna lose for the team okay that kid's gonna fuck up no one passed to that kid now we're playing with one less man than everyone else also the between the dogs and the disabled kids we're never gonna win a game and no one questioned that airbud came out went straight to fucking theaters people clapped said it was amazing get the fuck out of here after the podcast we're gonna go back and rewatch we watch Air Bud. We're also gonna go back and find out if the if the if the, if the basketballs were hairy. <laughs> oh shit! Didn't he go on to become a? Didn't that dog eventually go on to play football? <laughs> How many Air Buds are there? There's got to be like six or seven of them, right? It's like a, a Final Destination. Like they just keep they just keep going. The dog just the dog just creeps. <laughs> it just keeps getting new. <laughs> <laughs> getting new like sports and takes over basketball then they, then they have ufc the dog the dog becomes the fucking ufc champion just runs up and bites the fuck out of conor mcgregor rips his fucking neck apart and everyone's like yes my dog my dog and then then he, then he does like skydiving the next day and rock climbing fucking red bull fucking f1 racing just a dog just beating dale earnhardt on the final lap and then he retires and becomes like a fucking <laughs> the dog retires and becomes like a, a doctor a sports medicine doctor and starts starts healing other dogs <laughs> okay there, there's no rule that says a dog can't fight in MMA there's no rule <laughs> there's no rule that says dog cannot and then oh the final one the dog becomes president it's Donald Trump versus Air Bud versus joe biden everyone's like i don't know dude this is the toughest decision i've ever had to make <laughs> and then and then at the end like it's always like let's go team everyone puts their hand in like on three break and then the, on the top there's a paw one two three break woof <laughs> oh my god okay i don't i don't know what we're even talking about i started creating wine in the toilet i started making toilet wine I'm joking. I um, I told you guys in a video that, oh, I guess it came out today, but you guys already knew from the people that watched me on Twitch that I was going to start trying to make wine. So I got all these different fruit juices. I filled them with sugar, put yeast in them, shook them up, covered them up, put them under my sink, put the caps on very lightly so the carbon dioxide can uh, can escape. And now I have one gallon. I have about a gallon well, let's see. I have more than a gallon. I have four. I have 1.5 quarts times four. So that's six. I have six quarts. And if, if in fact, I don't know if this was alcohol or, or the weed. Someone told me a quart means a quarter gallon. If, if that's true, then I have one and a half gallons of alcohol ready to be consumed in three weeks. Will it be good? I don't know. Could it be poison? I don't know. What if bacteria gets in? Well, I'm dead. Uh, first off, I'll try them out in small. When it comes to creating things that you're going to consume, I'll try it out in small batches, see if my belly hurts, see if it passes the smell test. But today I put out a video on how how I did it, and I learned this from YouTube. And as I'm uploading it, I'm thinking to myself, okay, like, what if this is illegal? 
No one, see, no one in the comments said this is illegal. And I'm, first off, I know, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I would imagine there's a handful of Ninja Lifestyle viewers who are not uh, 21 years old. So am I just ruining the world? I'm teaching these kids how to make alcohol like under their bed? Well, here's, here's why I don't feel bad at all. Cause I'm not the first one to do this, okay? A YouTuber by the name of Papa, <laughs> Papa was out here. He taught way more kids how to make alcohol than me. And he started doing that when COVID started. For me, the issue is not, I don't want to be a mad scientist, all right? I, I, it's not that I need to save money because getting alcohol is already very affordable. Vodka, like price per, price per drunk, the PPD, the price per drunk of a giant jug of vodka is probably better or, or at least comparable to what I'm going to get from these uh, wine bottles like versus like money put in versus drunk got out. There's like a ratio of money to drunk, right? Like if you spent, if you only drank Modelo every day, your money to drunk ratio, it would be bad. It'd be bad because it's, it's a beer that has X amount of alcohol, but it's overpriced for the name. But for me, I'm, all I did was buy sugar, which is very cheap. I bought yeast, which is less than a dollar. And then I bought these, these, uh, these jugs, these giant jugs of, of juice for like $2. So the estimate that I heard is, uh, it's almost like if I had a bottle of wine and it would only cost me 50 cents. So when we're talking 50 cent bottles now, Listen, the world could end tomorrow, right? I got enough guns. I have a small stash of water. I got a lot of cans of soup. But what do I don't have? I don't have the ability to make my own alcohol until now. See, this is this is not just about me. This is about the this is about the, the kids. This is about the future of our generation. <laughs> and it's and it's just a fun thing to do, man. I'll I'll keep you guys updated because I have to wait three weeks. I can I can do a taste test, but here's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and just leave them all alone. Also, what I didn't tell you is my very first bottle. If anyone watched my video from today, it shows how, how I did all this. My very first bottle exploded. So I read, I read online that that could happen. And I thought to myself, it won't happen to me. This bottle won't explode. Oh, it did. It exploded good. So I put the cap on and then I made it loose. So the cap was, was loose, and if I squeeze the bottle, it, it throws air out. So I thought to myself, oh, that should be plenty. No, 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 the cap has to be very, very, very loose, because here's what happened. The, the sugar and grape juice bubbled up, it bubbled up to the top, and then it got in those little cracks where the air is supposed to come out. And then it dried. So then it made, it made a bond between the cap and, and the juice. So now it's a, it, it officially sealed itself shut without me sealing it shut. So then uh, the next day I go look at it. I can I open my little cabinet and I can smell grape juice. And I'm like, okay, I can smell the grape juice. I pull it out. There's grape juice on the wall. There's grape juice on the left. There's grape juice on the back. There's grape juice on the ground. There's grape juice on the cabinet. There's grape juice above. There's grape juice everywhere. And as I pull it out, I'm looking at it and it's going... And I'm like, this has been happening for 24 hours? Like, <laughs> now I'm worried about getting ants because it's it's wood. All that, the area, my cabinets are all wood and they're old. So they're like, they're not, they're not like super hard, like stained wood. It's like old shitty wood that's been there forever. So, so all the juice like soaked into the wood. I'm trying to wash it, but I'm just, it's just absorbing it like a sponge. So hopefully we don't get ants, which... <laughs> Here's the thing, I have a whole, I have an ant farm in my backyard. The Twitch people know, know about my obsession with ants. I shouldn't say obsession. I have ants in the backyard and they, bu they built this giant ant hill and I covered it with, uh, with like a little tomato fence. Like I have these little fences that you can, you, you can grow tomato vines on and I protected the ant hill so like the dog doesn't step on it. Oh my God, yeah, I'm officially, I've, I've lost my fucking mind. Uh, what else has been going on? Oh, it rained. There was a Las Vegas hurricane. Tropical storm, I should say. Tropical storm Hillary Clinton rolled in. And it rained. 
I, okay, how much does it rain where you guys are? Because in this <laughs> in this region, we get about one inch of rain per year. So if you add all the if you add all the days of the year and all the rain, all the quarter inches and tenth of an inches, and you add them all together, we end up with one. So Las Vegas is not really built for water. So that this one inch fucked up the entire city. <laughs> one inch of water fucked up everything. Flooding, not, not the worst flooding I've ever seen, but pretty significant flooding. And then my roof. My roof, uh, it leaks. So up until now, my roof leaks like once every three years. It leaks, I look at the leak from down here, I see I see a drip coming through, so I go climb up on the roof, I sort of estimate where I think maybe the leak is from, because you can't really tell through the shingles, and I tar, I tar over the whole roof, and then the next, the next time it rains, one year from then, I find out if it worked or not. Well, t t well, 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 this, today, this week, it rained two separate days, oh my god, fucking, there's, there's drip, drip drops coming everywhere. And then I go up there, I tar it, and then it rains immediately. So I fucked up my tar already a little bit. And then I tar more, I tar it all around the air conditioning. And here's the problem, is now there's mold. <laughs> now there, it, there's a strong possibility of like black mold being up in my, in my roof area, and I'll never know. Because I know, knowing me, I'm not gonna even think about this roof ever again until it leaks again. And that's gonna be a year from now. Which is the main reason why I was not really concerned about uh, getting a new roof. Well, first off, I can't fucking afford it. <laughs> I looked up the price of a new roof. It's like seven thousand dollars. I I can't. I I you know what? I'd rather have black fucking mold than throw away that much money on a roof that doesn't even benefit me. First off, I don't even use the whole roof. Okay, if if it was up to me, I would hope that only if they would only. First off, roof people. Why why is there only one option? What why is there only one option? Oh, uh, I can. I can fix your entire roof or nothing. No, 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 it, it only leaks over there. <laughs> exactly. No, 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 no. It, it only leaks over there. Yeah, but I'm fixing the entire house. What if you only fix the leak? <laughs> what are you, stupid? I don't get it, I don't use the whole roof. Uh, there's, listen, there's rooms in this house that I never go in. <laughs> Also, if you guys walked on my roof, it's like walking on like, oh, I don't know, like, uh, like, have you ever, ever been to like a jujitsu mat? It's like, like you, it sinks in, <laughs> you, you take a step and it goes, mm -hmm. it is a fuck, this house is from like the 60s. The roof has never been changed. Okay, anyone, li listen, I weigh 162 pounds. If you're above 200, you're not going on the roof. Fourth, on 4th of July, I go up on the roof and I watch the fireworks. If you're over 200 pounds, you're staying on the ground. I'll get a walk. I'll get a walkie talkie. I'll talk to you from up here. Cause if you get on my roof, you're gonna fall fucking through it. So I guess I guess what I mean is, <laughs> one day this is gonna have to get fixed. Okay, that's the bottom line. One day it's gonna have to get fixed. I have a question for you guys. I, <laughs> I I'm running this by you guys. It, it what, a lot of what I struggle with in life is like, is this the is this the right way to do things? Is this like proper? So imagine. I go grocery shopping. I take my shopping cart back to the to the shopping cart return because I feel like that's the right thing to do. You don't want to be a lazy bones. You don't want to be a creep, right? You don't you don't want to be a, a douchebag. So I, I <laughs> on Amazon they uh, my, I have a security camera outside my front door and it went on sale. So I bought another one without. I bought another security camera without thinking about where to put it. It would it be weird if I put a security camera in my living room? Would it be weird? Do you think people would be less willing to like? <laughs> you think people would be like that camera's in there? Uh, I was gonna have a conversation, but now I don't want to. Do you think people are gonna think I'm like a cop or something? Or should I just put it outside? Like, are people gonna think that I'm like secretly watching them? <laughs> Because I, none of my friends have a camera inside their house. They all have cameras outside their houses. For me to have one inside, also, it wouldn't look professional. The camera's this big, and it's magnetic, and it has to be wired. So, for me to put it into the wall would be more work than I'm willing to do, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do is just plug it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm planning on just plugging it in to the wall and setting it on top of my safe. Or if you guys uh, who watch the stream, you guys have seen my stream where the where the webcam goes. What if I put that right next to the webcam? And then it's like, uh, it's like, okay, we're all just, I'm watching the stream. The stream's watching me. We're all watching UFC, but then, but then what if, uh, ah, whatever, whatever. I feel like it'd be good for number one to watch the dog. And I always have this irrational fear. And I know I'm not the only one that has this. I have this irrational fear that one day I'm going to be at my house watching UFC. I'm going to invite eight people over. Three of them are going to be people I don't know that well, because you know, a friend usually brings a friend of a friend. And then at the end of the at the end of the day I look down and go, oh fuck, my cell phone's gone. And I, 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 this has happened to me before. This has happened to me more than once. I lose my cell phone or I lose a pocket knife or something. And I go, oh fuck, it must be one of those dudes I don't know. Someone must have stolen it. So it'd be nice if I could have this camera to go back and retrace my steps and either either find either find the thief or find out when my phone fell into the couch. I guess, I guess I just wanted to ask you guys if you think it's creepy or not. I'm, I'm gonna do it whether whether you think it's creepy or not. But I'm I'm I was wondering if if there's a more like at ed, like a more etiquette way to do it. Ah, whatever. Hey, I can always put it in the backyard too. Plus, it's nice. Listen, I have one in my room, which is speaking of that, even more creepy for some people. Uh, if, if a lady comes over and she's like, why is there a camera looking directly at us sleeping or trying to bang? And I'm like, oh, it's funny story. It's not, it's not, it's not about you. It's, it's about my dog. <laughs> Usually I fuck my dog in this room and I didn't know, I didn't know there was a human going to be sleeping in here. So I'll turn the camera off. <laughs> Can you imagine if I, if I told the story like that? <laughs> Oh man, I really should be a comedian. <laughs> Everyone said, huh? What? <laughs> I really should be a comedian. It is creepy. Okay, well, no, the real reason is when I'm at the bar for a long time or I'm away from home, I can look at that camera and I can look at my dog sleeping on the bed. That's the real reason. I know I made it weird right there, but that, the real reason is that. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna be the fucking creepy old man that has cameras everywhere then. You know what? I think I'm at that age. I think everyone gets to that age where they're just like, fuck it, I'll just be creepy. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But it, but the camera's going on the safe. Whatever. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> exactly where I was expecting that story to go. Uh, let's talk about what I watched on TV. I watched a movie from... I don't know what I think it said. 2006 called Running With Scissors. It's a story about a therapist. Like a doctor therapist. Who drugs his patients and then bangs them, and then basically does everything in his power to keep them going crazy, so they can never, so they can never get sane, and they can keep banging them. And uh, eventually he moves his patients like into his home, and then he like adopts his patients' kids. And then at the end, you're like, wow, that was a fucked up movie. And then it says, based on a true story. And then it shows the actual like people that were, the real people that were involved. And you're like, oh fuck. This movie is based on something that a human being really did? Oh. It's like a, it's like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. At the end, you're like, man, that'd be so fucked if that really happened, right? And then the person next to you is like, oh, no one told you? This really happened. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God. Yeah, the masturbatorium. Okay, also, also, can I explain to you guys the manifestation? The manifestation. I was on Twitch, hanging out with you guys, and I told the story of my friend Ward. He calls his office, and his, his house has a little computer office, he calls it the Masturbatorium, because uh, he's trying to be funny. Okay, I didn't know that that came from something. I didn't know that was from a movie. Less than 24 hours later, after I tell the story of the Masturbatorium, I turn on a random movie, and the phrase Masturbatorium, I've never heard it anywhere else in my life, and I hear it two times in 24 hours. The world is a it's a crazy place, man. You guys have seen it with you guys have seen it with Ninja Review. I'm psychic. I'm psychic. Anyways, the movie's called Running with Scissors, and it is uh it's pretty interesting. If you like movies about crazy people, and then especially if you're interested 
in a, a movie that really happened. Sorry, guys. I'm fucking I'm running out of gas here. I'm sweating really bad now, too. Every podcast lately, I have to take a shower after the podcast. Pissing me off. I also started a Netflix series last night called The Pharmacist, which there's a lot of pharmacy movies coming out lately. It's about uh, some kid who goes to the ghetto, I guess, to buy crack, and then he gets murdered. And uh, I guess the reason he was buying crack is because he started off with OxyContin, and then he went out there, and there was like a mistaken identity, and someone killed him. And everyone's like, drug deal gone bad. So I guess the police, I can't think of where this was in, in the world. But I guess the police were like, oh, drug addict gets killed uh, because of a, you know, drug deal gone wrong. And I guess they just, I guess they just never investigated it. They were like, oh, that guy died. Well, he was a drug addict and he got killed by a drug dealer. Who cares? Turns out the guy's dad was like, no, 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 I'm not taking that. I'm not accepting that as an answer. So the guy's, the kid's dad who the, the, the kid who died, his dad, becomes a fucking private investigator and like solves the case by himself with no police help at all. And that was episode one. What happens after that? I don't fucking know. But if you guys are interested in a story like that, you guys might want to check out The Pharmacist on Netflix. And that's it. That's all my topics for today. Can I get a hell yeah? from you guys in the chat. If you missed the first half of the podcast, don't worry, the repeat comes out on Sunday. Yeah, early in the morning on Sunday, around 7 a.m. in the morning, just in time for you to, to download it and listen to it on your way to work. It comes out on Podbean, on podcast app, on Spotify, on, uh, on, on YouTube, on iTunes. Definitely check out that. Uh, we got in here, Ron, stop it, Mr. Defo, Late Bloomer, Dingo, Donger Doo, Paul Miranda, Day Day, Meatball Head, iBook Boy, Chillin' Pete, Lou Gurk, and Sully Waldrop. I appreciate you guys for uh, for tuning in. Did we get any donations today? We did not. Uh, Mr. Jesus has resubscribed for his 11th month in a row, and Scoodles360 has resubscribed for his third total month in a row. I appreciate the support. You can subscribe. It only costs $4.99. You can send me money directly as like a, as like a, hey, you made me laugh. Here's five bucks. Or, hey, you made me laugh. Here's 10 cents. And then I'll go, whoa! And then I'll ring a bell a bunch of times. No, I won't. But that's just if you have the money. I know, I know the, the cost of eggs has skyrocketed. Chicken used to be a dollar a pound. Now it's bullshit. Not everyone has money. Okay? But you know what everyone has? The ability to tell a friend, assuming you have friends, you have the ability to tell a friend about the podcast. So please do that. If you think about it, just say to your coworker or maybe your cousin, say, oh my God, this podcast, I listen to it all the time. It's very interesting. It made me laugh. Or say, this one part about the podcast reminded me of you. And then send the part about dog fucking. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And what's going on? Uh, so tomorrow's a ninja review. It's going to be kind of a funny one. Uh, this comes out on Sunday. And then watch watch my YouTube, youtube.com slash ninja lifestyle. And I guess that's it. Hope everyone has a great weekend. As I always say, don't drink too much, but don't drink too little. <laughs>